Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about how to do the distributive property. You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. The first part in figuring out how to do the distributive property is understanding that the distributive property states that if you're given an expression in the form of this expression where you have a times the quantity b plus c, you can take this a and distribute it by multiplying it by everything inside of the parentheses. In the case of this first example that gives us 5 times the quantity 5x minus 5, the distributive property states that you need to use a distributive law of multiplication to take the term that is on the outside of the parentheses and distribute it to everything inside of the parentheses using multiplication. So we're going to take this term that is on the outside of the parentheses and distribute it to everything inside of the parentheses. So we take this term, in this case which is 5, and we multiply it times the first term inside of the parentheses which is 5x. Then we bring down the symbol in the middle which is our minus symbol. Then we take the term on the outside, which is 5, and multiply it times the second term on the inside, which is also 5. So our 5 has now been distributed to both the 5x and the 5 inside of the parentheses. Now you follow order of operations, which is to multiply before you subtract. So we're going to multiply 5 times 5x and get 25x. Keep the sign in the middle of the same, which is minus, and then 5 times 5, which is 25. So 25x and 25 are not like terms, so you do not combine them. So our final solution is 25x minus 25. Let's do a couple practice problems on our distributive property worksheet. Jumping to the first problem on our distributive property worksheet, it gives us 2 times the quantity x minus 1. So we know that we're supposed to take the term that is outside of the parentheses and distribute it through multiplication to everything inside of the parentheses. So we're going to take this 2 and we're going to multiply it times the first term. In this case is x, so we're going to multiply it times x. Then we bring the symbol straight down that's in the middle. Then we take the term which is on the outside, so 2 again, and we multiply it times the last term inside of the parentheses, which is 1. So then according to order of operations, we simplify by doing multiplication before addition or subtraction. So we do 2 times x, which is 2x, minus the sign in the middle stays the same, and then 2 times 1, which is 2. So our final solution will be 2x minus 2. Moving on to number 3 on our distributive property worksheet. This problem gives us negative 10 times the quantity x plus 8. So again we take the term that is outside of the parentheses and we use multiplication to distribute it to everything that is on the inside of the parentheses. The term negative 10 is going to be multiplied by our first term inside of the parentheses, in this case is x. We bring down the plus symbol in the middle, then we take negative 10 and multiply it by positive 8, which is our last term in the parentheses. Negative 10 times x is negative 10x, and then negative 10 times 8 is negative 80. So our final solution is negative 10x minus 80. The last problem we're going to complete on our distributive property worksheet is number 8. This problem gives us negative 7 times the quantity 5x minus 10. We take this negative 7, just like we did in the other problems, and we distribute it to everything that is inside of the parentheses. So in the case of this problem, we do negative 7 times 5x, so that's going to be the first thing we multiply by. The symbol in the middle comes down, which is minus. And then we do negative 7 again times, in this case, the last term is going to be 10. Then we simplify following order of operations. Negative 7 times 5x is negative 35x. The symbol in the middle stays the same. And then negative 7 times 10 is negative 70. 
Now what's unique about this problem is that we have two negatives that are next to each other. So when you have two negatives next to each other, the two negatives cancel. So we're going to cancel them and they become a positive. So our final answer will be negative 35x plus 70 because the two negatives cancel. Hopefully this video helped you better understand what is a distributive property in math. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe to our channel or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.